Do you think this is important? Many people change the way they talk to people, their whole life is changed. Okay, now his question is also about this, right? What he asked. Yes, I have a question. Do you see that Many people don't understand the difference between how you talk, the, the law, right? Using yeah, the law. That you have heard, you've been hurt many times. Is it true? You've been hurt by people many times? Is it true? Is it true? When Christians hurt people when they go outside, do you think they will bring people to Jesus? You know, for instance, they tell someone about Jesus. And a person doesn't believe. And then they will say, you go to hell. Is he going to believe anymore? Or sometimes I, or sometimes a facial expression. The person doesn't believe in Jesus. <laughs> the facial expression is unhappy. Because we have anger inside. We don't handle it. It comes, it comes out in a word, in a facial expression. Can you see the importance? Okay, now, let's, let's practice now, two by two. You, one person is the one who is not willing to pray or doesn't want the Holy Spirit. And then you try to guide the person to see the importance of praying. And now, let me make it easier for you. I demonstrate one time. And you try to do what I do. Okay, the person says, I don't want to pray. And I say, why don't you want to pray? And the person says, well, I think that when I pray, God doesn't answer my prayer. And then I'll say, why do you think God doesn't answer you? And the person says, well, because when I pray for healing and he did not heal me, so then I say, well, do you think that when God doesn't heal you, it doesn't mean he doesn't love you? Oh, when he went to uh, Galatia, when he preached the first time because he has sickness, and also Timothy, because he was sick often, then Paul advised him to take some wine. So do you think God doesn't love Paul and Timothy? And then, so if he says yes, he loves him. But then I have difficulty and God hasn't helped me yet. And then I'll ask, has God answered you sometimes? Do you think God answered you sometimes? And he says yes. And then, uh, in those times, do you think God loves you? If he says yes, then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love you? Yes, yes. Then do you think he continues to love
Rero ubaza ari ibibazo ubaza umuntu ari kumufasha kugira ngo ashore gutekereza. So then the person see you know gradually see yes pray is good. No no kugeza aho umuntu ari uko ngo kabisa gusenga ni byiza abikunda. That we can't even see God has answered your prayer before. No, no. Even now, you have some problem God has not answered yet. No, kujaza no. Ufiti viva so vini mani tera suiza. Also, when you pray, do you feel peace? Ari kasi you sense umfiti zama ho. Do you think God is loving you? If he loves you, do you think he'll answer your prayer? If he loves you, do you think he'll answer your Now this could be difficult the first time. Basically, it's guiding the person. Okay. Do you think it's important to learn this? Hello. Okay. Maybe I'll demonstrate once more. I'm sorry. Okay. Now let me demonstrate in another way. Does God want revival to come to the churches? Now I'm 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 using guidance now. Does God um, you can answer. Does God want to revive you? Does God want to revive you? Does God want to give you strength? Does God want to give you strength? Can you go higher with the power of God? Does God have some powerful plan in your life? And does God, will God give you strength to fulfill the plan? Do you want to start entering the plan now? Now I'm guiding you all the way. Now let me ask you, do you, do you really believe now that you can start to enter God's plan now? Do you believe that? Do you want to enter the plan now? Do you want to say to God now? I want to enter the plan. And God will, will God answer you? So I'm guiding you all the way, right? So I'm I'm guiding you to think and to believe in God, what God says. Okay. So now you practice two by two, okay? So okay. okay. You want to practice two by two? Just stay in the place and then you just turn. Okay. So now I'm guiding you to think and to believe in God. Okay. So now I'm guiding you to think and to believe in God. Okay. So now I'm guiding you to think and to believe in God. Wants me to pray for you. I can pray for you to experience the Holy Spirit more. Okay. Now you just say what I just said to kind of person. Do you think God wants to bless you? Want to use you? Do you think you can enter His God's plan, or do you think God will hear your prayer? So kind, dear person like that. Okay. 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 Wow, very good. <laughs> very good. Okay, now I'm going to do this. I will say it, you say it after me. 
Je kufuga anima mubisubiremo. Okay, you say after me. After you or after me? After you. Eh, ngomuri mufuge nyumba yanje. Okay? So, um, for instance, uh, we try to motivate someone to pray. Has God answered answer your prayer before? Say it, say it. Amen. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. 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 Did you see God's love when he answered your prayer? Where is the one who can do it? Where is the one who can do it? Did you see God as blessing prepared for you? Where is the one who can do it? Where is the one who can do it? Are you happy with the blessings God gave you? Wish me the image of man I could have. Do you want to continue to receive these blessings? Can you believe in the Bible that God will hear a prayer? That when God has given us His Son, He also gives us all things. Do you believe that your power, the prayer has power? Do you believe that God is very happy when you pray to Him? Do you believe that God wants to bless you? Do you want to start to pray now? Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate talking with your spouse. Now we can start seeing ourselves. I like to have better, I like, I like to have a better relationship with you. Would you like to have a better relationship with me? I'm sorry if I made you unhappy before. How do you think we can communicate better? And how can we love each other more? Would you like it if I love you more? Okay, so these are ways that you can talk to your husband and wife. And then now I'm guiding the congregation and you can say after him too. Guiding the congregation to love God more. Okay. Okay. Do you believe that God loves us? Do you believe that God loves you as a person? Do you believe that God can raise you up high? Do you believe that God wants to raise up more people? Do you believe God has a wonderful plan in your life? Do you want to enter the wonderful plan? Do you want to enter the wonderful plan? 
Do you want to receive the power of the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that God wants to give you the Holy Spirit? Do you believe that your life will become better and better? Do you believe that the church will become Do you believe that God can use you mightily? Do you believe that God can use you mightily? Okay. Now, so I encourage you to go home and try to communicate with your husband and wife and your friends like that. Pero, eh, rekamasi si karise muta si mukane na wakawa chako na wakureba nyukurcho ni shuti sa nyukurcho mukomi jisiji. Or with your child. Do you think God loves you? Yes. Say to your child, to your child. Do you think what God wants you to use your life? Do you believe that you can become a great person? Do you believe that you can become a great person? Let me tell you. The way we communicate with people, it came from a heart to love people. Each person is very precious. He's very precious. You are very precious. That's why I believe you can change. And I believe in God. God can lift you up greatly. And I want their blessings to come to you. All this came from the love of God. To change your life, and change how I see each person. To change my life, to change how I see each person. Change how I talk. Change how I raise up people. Now, if you have that life, if you really know because of Uzima, you change your congregation, your members. But if you go to your members and say, you don't want to serve God. You're lazy. I want you to serve more. You have to give more time to God. Now, if we talk like that, it doesn't encourage people. But when we see God's love, and see the potential in people, and then use, you know, that our words will show our love for them. And then our words can change people. Now, this can change the way you talk and preach. Now, to, tomorrow and, you know, this few days, we have very important teachings. It's very important. Now, the first message this morning, I talk about the love of God. And you like that. But now I talk about how to use it in our teaching in our life. Now I want to talk about how to use it in our teaching in our life. How we talk to people. This is harder. I hope you have the patience to learn. Then I want to learn the secret how to live in the love of God to motivate people. It's not just for today. I hope you apply it and then you can help your members. Teach your members. Mugafasha na mumu yovora.